Preparing food in an air fryer is fast, fun, and flavorful, and one of the best things to cook is air fried chicken. But did you know it could be even better? That's not true! That's impossible! Some say ignorance is bliss, but we say there's nothing better than perfectly fried chicken. And you'll never guess which common mistake is drying yours out. If you own one of these appliances, there's no doubt you've heard about the ongoing debate on whether preheating an air fryer is necessary before cooking with it. Some owners say that skipping preheating is okay, while others insist that preheating is a must. The best thing to do is to go by your owner's manual for your particular brand and model, as it will explain how and when to preheat. However, if you're cooking fried chicken in your air fryer, you might want to assume that preheating is best. Shark Ninja's senior vice president of product development, Pervin Shaw, tells Insider that giving your air fryer some time to preheat can ensure that you have a crispy meal that's also evenly cooked throughout. With chicken, that's an absolute must. Writer Bridget Early also swears by preheating her air fryer for anything from crispy veggies to chicken. In an article for Reviewed, she writes that she almost tossed hers aside as useless until she realized how much of a difference preheating made for crispiness. What happens when you try to brown up moist, raw chicken? You'll probably end up with soggy skin rather than the crispy, golden crust you were looking for. Before putting chicken into the air fryer, you should pat it completely dry with clean paper towels. Principal chef at HelloFresh, Claudia Sadati, tells Insider that patting raw chicken dry before cooking goes one step further to reduce the chicken's overall moisture content, preventing it from releasing moisture during the cooking process. If you're having trouble getting your seasoning to stick to dry chicken, Pantry and Larder suggests coating the chicken lightly with olive oil before rubbing the herbs and spices onto the chicken. Don't worry about washing your chicken before patting it dry, either. Sadati had this to say about washing raw chicken before cooking it. Washing raw chicken before cooking can increase your risk of food poisoning from bacteria. Washing raw chicken can also spread bacteria to hands, countertops, and cooking utensils. Instead, count on the cooking process to eliminate any harmful bacteria. Yes, chicken is perfectly edible without seasoning. However, the right seasoning can really boost its flavor, especially with fried chicken. Fried chicken needs a little extra flavor or you're bound to get mouthfuls of bland-tasting breading, which isn't very appetizing. So don't skimp on seasoning. Ideally, you'll want to season the chicken before you bread it and season the breading. According to Bon Appetit, your chicken needs some salt at the very least. Adding salt generously to raw chicken creates a brine, bringing moisture from the chicken to its surface and soaking it up. This allows the skin to become crisp in the air fryer. Then season the breading. Ideal herbs and spices for fried chicken include garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika, but feel free to experiment with your favorite flavors, including spicy additions like cayenne pepper and crushed red pepper. You can also use pre-made spice blends like poultry seasoning or Cajun seasoning to kick things up a notch. Breading is the star of the show with air fried chicken. When you make fried chicken in an air fryer, it's crucial to get your breading procedure just right. If not, you could end up with breading that doesn't stick, falling right off the juicy chicken leg you were about to bite into. Blue Jean Chef recommends using a traditional dredge method to coat each piece of chicken and keep the breading intact. First, dip the chicken in flour, then into whipped eggs, and finally in the breadcrumb mixture. After dipping the chicken into the breadcrumbs, use your fingers to press the mixture into the chicken firmly. Stop! Were you about to use any old oil to fry chicken in an air fryer? What? No! Air fryers are not the same as deep fryers, as they use hot, forced air to cook food rather than hot oil. Still, you might want to use a little bit of oil when you're cooking fried chicken in your air fryer. Don't worry about adding oil to the air fryer basket. Instead, add a little oil to the chicken pieces before putting them in the air fryer. However, Simply Recipes warns not to use too much oil on your chicken. Doing so could make it drip down to the bottom of the basket, creating a lot of smoke when the oil and food drippings build up. Chris Riley, the founder of The Daring Kitchen, tells Insider that spraying oil onto the chicken before adding it to the basket helps you add just the right amount. Spice Lab chef Fiona Kennedy also tells Insider that you should always remove the basket from the air fryer before spraying the chicken with oil to avoid unsafe and grimy buildup inside the appliance. What oil is best? One with a high smoke point that can withstand high temperatures like avocado oil and coconut oil. Overcrowding the air fryer basket can be tempting when you're in a time crunch and have hungry mouths to feed. You might get away with doing it with some foods like vegetables, but fried chicken isn't as forgiving. 
The New York Times suggests buying a large-capacity air fryer if you plan to cook large amounts of food to avoid cooking in several batches. However, if you want to make do with what you have, you may need to cook just a few pieces of chicken at a time. According to the crazy coupon lady, overcrowding the basket yields unevenly cooked foods because it compromises airflow. Not only can unevenly or undercooked fried chicken result in unappetizing, soggy pieces of breading, it can also be harmful to your health. Food poisoning is highly likely with undercooked chicken, and that can ruin your day in more ways than one. What did we eat? It's coming out of me like lava! This is because as much as 66% of tested chicken contains salmonella or campylobacter bacteria. Even with maximum airflow getting to each piece of chicken in the basket, you might need to help out the air fryer a little bit to ensure that each piece gets a complete cook on all sides. To do this, America's Test Kitchen says to use a pair of kitchen tongs to flip the chicken pieces halfway through the cooking process. So if you're cooking chicken for 30 minutes, set a timer for 15 minutes to remind you to flip them over to the other side. One air fryer user on Reddit's air fryer subreddit said, An air fryer only has one heating element on top. I do find that flipping can make the underside more well done or crispy. While some air fryers have crisping shelves that let air circulate underneath the food, most air stays on top, crisping up the upper portion of food more. Do you find that you have an overwhelming mess to clean up after cooking fried chicken in an air fryer? Oil drippings and breading leftovers can certainly create disorder in your air fryer basket. In some cases, you might even end up with chicken that sticks to the bottom of the basket, pulling off all that crispy skin you wanted to eat. Parchment sheets made for air fryers are perfect for this, according to Air Fryer World. They're generally safe to use at temperatures up to 450 degrees, and they prevent food from sticking and from you having to scrub away at the basket. Just be sure to use these liners correctly. Blue Jean Chef author Meredith Lawrence tells Insider that the food you place on top of parchment paper in the air fryer should always weigh it down to keep the liner from blowing unsafely into the heating element. Lawrence also suggests using parchment paper with holes to keep grease from making your breading soggy. An air fryer perk is that it can cook many foods faster than an oven without sacrificing food quality and juiciness. Make a few chicken meals in the air fryer and you'll probably find it difficult to go back to the longer cooking process and sometimes drier results of oven-cooked chicken. However, the intense cooking process of the air fryer can quickly turn chicken dry if you're not careful. For best results with fried chicken in an air fryer, kick down the temperature further than you would for other methods, like deep frying or breaded baked chicken. According to Well Plated, an ideal temperature for air fried chicken is 375 degrees, while oven chicken recipes usually call for 425 degrees. The Cookful recommends cooking most pieces of chicken at 400 degrees in the air fryer after preheating it for a few minutes at the same temperature. Air fryer models vary significantly from one another, with some having just a few buttons to get things cooking. Others have several functions, including roasting, dehydrating, and warming buttons. Get familiar with everything your air fryer offers by flipping through its manual and checking out its controls before cooking your fried chicken. If your air fryer is one that does have several controls on its front screen, you might be doing yourself a disservice by ignoring them. Many air fryers with preset functions have one specifically for chicken, giving you the ideal temperature and time to get a thorough cook that keeps chicken moist while crisping its fried breading. For instance, many Go Wise USA air fryers include presets for commonly cooked items like steak, pork, and fries. A chicken preset always appears on these models. Taste of Home reminds us that presets aren't foolproof, though. Make sure you know how much food your owner's manual suggests cooking with the chicken preset to ensure that you're not overcrowding the basket. Now, we know eating your freshly cooked fried chicken straight from the air fryer is oh so tempting, but holding off just a few minutes can result in an even yummier meal. But I want it now! <laughs> Resting is something that steak enthusiasts often describe as a must for cooked steak, but chicken can benefit from it too. Once your air fryer has finished cooking each chicken piece, the chicken isn't necessarily done cooking. Each piece holds in heat for a few more minutes, allowing it to finish the cooking process and absorb some moisture that is lost. Boneyard Bistro chef Aaron Robbins explains how to do it. Once you have hit 165 degrees, stop the heat and let it rest for a few minutes before cutting, so the juices redistribute themselves back through the meat. Kitchen also suggests tenting meat in foil during the resting process to hold that heat in and keep the chicken warm while you wait. In turn, you'll get a thoroughly cooked piece of chicken that's tender and juicy. 
Not checking to make sure that each piece of chicken is cooked all the way before removing it from the air fryer could result in yummy-looking chicken that's not so good for your health. Chicken can be sneaky, looking fully cooked on the outside but still pink and underdone on the inside. Food poisoning is a risk with chicken if you don't handle it properly in the kitchen or use a designated food thermometer to check its internal temperature. According to the USDA, the safe cooking temperature of chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that you should not pull any piece of chicken from the air fryer until it's reached that temperature. Remember that it will continue to cook a little more when resting, but it still needs to reach that safe zone before you move it to its resting area. Always check that the thickest part of the chicken reaches this temperature. You have a few options when it comes to checking the temperature of your cooked chicken. Instant read thermometers are among the most popular, giving quick readings in digital or analog styles. Or try thermometer-fork combinations, which have at least two prongs, making them helpful for checking the thick parts of the chicken. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about cooking tips are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.